Lungile Ngalelwa has been handed two life sentences. This after he was convicted for the murder of his girlfriend, 27-year-old Kinelwe Pule, in 2019. ENCA's Lindelo Masikane has been following proceedings uh, from the Palm Ridge Regional Court where that case has been taking place. Um, and and, and uh, uh, just give us the details there, Slindelo, in terms of the sentence that has been handed down um, juxtaposed with the gruesome nature of the crime that was committed. Mm. I think many would assume that this would have been a crime of passion, but according to the courts of law here uh, during the sentencing, uh, Lungi Lengalelo had countless opportunity to save this young woman's life um, and to think about his actions. Instead, uh, he continued to mutilate her body um, after he had murdered her. And I think for the family of Guinea Lopule, uh, th this sentence for them will finally uh, start the beginning of healing, or the process of healing, rather, even though, of course, um, we would all much rather have Guinea Lopule here with us. Um, however, the courts have finally handed down justice uh, for Kinelwe and her family, saying that uh, Lungi Lengalelwa uh, is not only guilty of the murder and rape of Kinelwe Pule, but that he deserves, deserves to spend the rest of his life in prison. The uh, judge went into quite great detail in terms of the facts of the case, how, they were, uh, how the mitigating factors were just not enough um, to deviate from the prescribed minimum sentence of life, saying that uh, the accused showed no remorse and that, uh, in fact, he had on many occasions um, told neighbors that he was intending on, on killing Kinelwe. Uh, but to just get more reaction, I am joined by Kinelwe's aunt. Once again, Mama, our deepest condolences. Is, how is the family feeling now that the sentence has finally been handed down almost two years later? Uh, thanks for the opportunity. Uh, I, I hope and I think the family today, from today, will start healing to the last part. Because uh, it's been haunting us as a family that uh, how, uh, how does justice work? Uh, how does it take so long? Uh, and then the way Kinewe uh, uh, was brutally murdered with all the bad wounds that we actually even didn't know which wound did kill Kinewe, with all the weapons uh, in the uh, uh, crime scene uh, that we didn't even know Hori, which one did he use, which one did he he, he, he killed with him. But uh, 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 today, I think I'm very happy to be here and uh, on behalf of the family to say uh, we could see that uh, justice is working. Mm -hmm. And then they, they did the, the best job because Lungile uh, doesn't uh, seem to be uh, looked like a person to stay amongst the people because of the deeds that she, he did to Kineilwe, according to the witnesses uh, uh, from the, the, the beginning of this trial. Uh, it would, one could see Hori, uh, he was doing it. He wanted to kill Kineilwe. It was not by mistake. It was not that he never slept. It was never, it's not that because he was drunk. He wanted to kill Kineilwe. And if I may tell you something, uh, Kinewe was, I think he, he, he was, she was wearing size 14. She was so small body. And then uh, uh, every time I used to ask myself, where, where did she hit? Where did he hit? With what? Uh, we, we didn't know because you find the grinders there, you find the hot irons there, you find the kettle. Uh, 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 rods there. You, you find everything. You find a lot of blood. We had to pa paint, repaint the two, the two room downs. We had, had to repaint the whole house before we can start to work because it was terrible. But now uh, 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 we are nearly, we are nearly, we are nearly, but we are not yet. Yeah. Because there is this thing that we as family, as we talk, we, 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 we can't understand. Uh, unfortunately, because of different works that we are doing, and fortunately, again, because of COVID-19, sometimes we, the other one is here, the other one is not, like I'm here today. Uh, uh, this boy, this uh, 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 Lungile, Lungile uh, 
wanted to kill Kinewe because he's been saying that, uh, telling the, the neighbors that I'm going to kill her. Mm -hmm. And then uh, 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 what hurts me more is that uh, uh, Ling Lungile uh, was uh, using Kinewe for his life. Mama, just explain to us, for those who don't know Kinele, what kind of a girl was she and what are you going to miss what about her? What a kind her? girl. What a sweet girl. You'll find Kinewe sitting on a couch. Though we don't go with them out. I don't know when he was, uh, she was outside. But every time she was uh, on the phone, on a TV, she was that kind of a person. But according to, to uh, I think, Huri, even that uh, edit, because... They say Lungile, the, the neighbors, uh, Lungile didn't want to see Kinewe move, but Kinewe was a very nice and a quiet girl, but naughty. Yeah. As each and every child who can be naughty, she'll mm. be dodging us, she'll be doing this, but she'll be calling me back. But since she met Lungile, we never seen her yeah. because Lungile didn't allow her to come home. Yeah. What are you going to miss about her? What I'm going to miss about Kino is the smile. She had a smile. She had a nice smile every time. If you talk, she'll be bowing her head and then so sweet, so sweet, answering you. And or sometimes just she looked at you and then, yeah, she was just kind of a child. Thank you, Mama. My thank deepest you. condolences. Uh, I, I also want to thank the people of Mukelele uh, for the support they gave. Remember, the, then there was no water, but uh, uh, people from Mukelele, they brought us buckets and buckets and buckets of water. And the support they gave, thank you very much. There's no pots, there's no nothing, there's no mother there, but we had everything to do the job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. All right, so let's, I think that's where we can leave it for now. Um, I think one of the key moments uh, in the judgment um, during the sentencing uh, was when the judge actually said that, you know, this, this judgment needs to send a message that um, it doesn't matter who you are, you know, the life of a woman is not your possession, mm -hmm. and you cannot determine whether a woman lives or dies just because she's insulted you. So um, he really does hope that this sends a strong message that, um, you know, women are just not possessions and that uh, you know uh, any transgressor that tries uh, to take a woman's life really looks back at this to say that uh, it's, it's not worth it and it's not worth your own life uh, to spend the rest of your own life in jail. Yeah absolutely Slindelo and what a moving interview there with the aunt uh, of the late uh, Ginelwe um, really describing the pain that as a family they've gone through but many many families have gone through in a society where some men believe that they own women, you know, where men believe that they have, you know, the final authority of determining uh, whether a woman lives or dies. All right, thank you for that, uh, Slinda Lomasigane, reporting there from the uh, Palm Ridge Criminal Courts there. I, I believe it was a high court uh, that was hearing the matter, um, sitting at the Palm, Palm Ridge Regional Court uh, precinct there.